It wasn't expected to be an easy visit. U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta arrived in China just as the host country was embroiled in a dispute with U.S. ally Japan over territory. China was already suspicious of the U.S.'s shift in attention to the Asia-Pacific region and had asked the Americans not to get involved in what it saw as a regional matter. So our purpose in uh, being able to strengthen our presence uh, in this region is to promote greater prosperity, uh, to promote greater security in the Asia-Pacific region. It is in both the interests of the United States and China to advance a strong Asia-Pacific region that represents in many ways uh, the future in the 21st century. Part of that future, according to Panetta, is improving communication and strengthening military-to-military -military cooperation between the two countries as the U.S. begins redistributing its forces to the region. China's military strength indeed has room for growth, but our development should go according to and be consistent with the country's economic growth, which also means the military strength should develop in a slightly slower rate than the speed of economic growth. Analysts say that the region's stability ultimately rests on economics. A closer relationship between the U.S. and China is meant to ensure peace so that trade relations can flourish, despite China being involved in territorial disputes with her neighbors, all of whom are U.S. allies. Panetta also met with China's leader-in-waiting, Xi Jinping, who controversially wasn't available when other international dignitaries visited earlier in the month. All in all, Panetta's trip to China is seen as a positive step towards improving relations between the two countries, even if suspicions might not necessarily have been put aside. Nonetheless, I think Beijing remains deeply disturbed by uh, President Obama's so-called pivot to Asia strategy, and they're convinced that uh, Washington is trying to exacerbate this anti-China containment policy. Panetta calls it building a new model redefining the regional power balance through cooperation. But many in China remain skeptical, feeling it might not so much be about keeping your friends close as keeping potential enemies closer. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.